If there is one thing that all of humanity has agreed on over the past hundreds of years, it's that there are seven days in a week. One year has 365 days and is the time Earth takes to go around the sun for one full cycle. One month is roughly the time it takes for the full moon phase to the new moon phase. And one day is the time that Earth takes to complete a single rotation on its axis. Did you notice that the year, month, and the day all come from natural astronomical cycles? So where does the week come from? After all, the week has no relation to any natural phenomenon, unlike the year, month, and day. And we don't exactly know when and who invented the week system, but it appears that the week was just framed for our convenience of having the days in a month divided into smaller groups. One of the theories is that most of the calendars in these old days were based on the moon and a typical lunar month has 28 days. And as there are 14 days between the full moon phase to the new moon phase, these phases were split up into two parts consisting of seven days each. And these parts are what we now call the week. There are seven days in a week. In most cultures and languages, these seven days are named after the seven major planetary bodies that we can see with our naked eye. These are the Sun, the Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn. These seven were the classical planets of Hellenistic astronomy, among many other cultures as well. I mean, for example, the Navagrahas of Indian culture contain these seven planetary bodies, plus the ascending and descending nodes of the moon, which are called Rahu and Ketu respectively. These seven days were named after the contemporary deities, which were introduced over 4,000 years ago by the Sumerian civilization and later carried on by the Babylonians and then the Roman Empire during the late antiquity. And eventually, it was Emperor Constantine who officially adopted the seven-day system in Roman times in the year 321 AD by making Sunday, known as the Day of the Sun, at that time a legal holiday. People in India were following this seven-day week system by the 6th century, but some believe that this practice started a few centuries earlier. The Far East also followed a similar planetary system for the seven-day week. The first known reference to a seven-day week system in China was from the 4th century AD. This system was introduced to Japan by the 9th century AD. In Judaism, the seven days were named after the numbers from 1 to 7, and the Hebrew Bible said that God had created the earth in six days and rested on the seventh day, which is known as Sabbath. This was also adopted by Christianity, which ended up spreading widely across most of Europe. And similarly, Islam says that Allah created the universe in seven days as well, which is why the Islamic calendar also has seven days in a week. So, from west to east, people of all cultures over hundreds of years have collectively agreed that there are seven days in a week. Whether it's based on planetary bodies, deities, or other religious reasons, this week is the oldest thing that all of humanity has ever agreed upon. Love you. Akash.